What's up YouTube? How's everybody doing? Hope everyone's having a great day. I just hit the gym, had work today, took a little nap, got a haircut, looking fresh. Now I have to go home and eat because I am starving. Uh, yeah, today was a good day and we got after it. We made shit happen and we progressed further. You know, we made our goal come a little closer. Today I got my Google page set up on YouTube for my, not YouTube, on Google for my handyman business. And you know, that's the next step to really growing this business is being on Google, which isn't hard to get on by any means, but I was having some technical difficulties, but I got on, I feel great about it. Now it comes down to learning how to utilize Google to the best of my abilities. Right now I'm using Yelp, I'm paying 500 bucks a month for ads and this month so far I've made 350 so I'm still down 150 but we're only in the beginning of the month and you know I have to at least break even for it to make sense because if I do a job for these customers it may turn into future jobs down the line so that's a philosophy I'm following and now I might you know invest in Google as well to get more leads from there and eventually this business is busy enough where I'll have jobs set up in advance hopefully one a day and be able to knock them out and make a bunch of money that is the goal that's what I'm trying to do and really I want to see if I could do it I want to see how far I could build this business the plan isn't really to have it huge it would be great if I do but right now the plan is just to be able to create a second source of income, which if my phone is ringing a couple times a day for people looking to get jobs done and I can do the job, I'm more than happy to. Other than that, I'm working on my hot dog cart. I'm waiting for my LLC to get approved and once it's approved, I'm going to purchase hot dog cart and get it in an area where I will then have to hire someone to run it as well as I'll run it and my friend will run it. So there'll be three people, two people really involved, three of them will be working it, and profits will be split between me and my friend, my business partner, and we plan on growing, we don't even got one yet, but we plan on growing it to three hot dog carts on, in the area I live in. It's a pretty, pretty spread out area, very nicely populated, so we'll be able to serve a lot of people. And if it fails, it fails, it's, it's whatever if it fails. But if you don't try, then it definitely fails. So you have to give it a shot, give it your all, and see if you can accomplish it. Today, when I left the gym, uh, I seen a beautiful Lamborghini Urus, purple. Uh, I was gonna walk right by it, but I was like, let's take a look at it and admire it. Because I would like to manifest something like that in my life. And not manifest, just my thinking about it is part of it, but you gotta look at it, feel yourself driving it, tell yourself you can have that, you will have it, and that's a step, that is the first step. So while I was staring at it, sure enough, the owner came out, and he's smiling, seeing me look at his car, comes over, he goes, you know, says hello, I was like, is this you? He goes, yeah, and I was like, beautiful. And he got right into his car and started it up, it sounded amazing. Um, now I know who he is, he goes to my gym, so I'm going to talk to him next time I see him and just ask, like, what do you do for work, you know? Like, how did you acquire that Lamborghini? Because uh, by simply talking to successful people, if they give you even the smallest bit of helpful information, they're cutting months or years off of your time to get where they got, if you're able to follow what they're telling you. So it's really good to talk to successful people or talk to people who are doing the things you want to do, and especially today with the internet, well, you know, just the time we live in, we, you can talk to anyone in the world about what they do for work, especially if they're in a field you're interested in, and pick their brain, learn as much as possible, and shorten your time to get there. You know, if I had Warren Buffett as my grandpa, he would have, he would have had me invest in at 10 years old, and had it instilled in me to keep it going, or at least would have given me information, taught me information, you know, that I would have been able to get to where he got even quicker than him. So you need mentors, because 
Mentors really get you to where they are even faster. And that's a beautiful thing. So you have to be a mentor, you have to have mentors. And I don't personally have any mentors. Uh, so I have to work on getting some. I have people in my life who, you know, are in positions I would like to be in. And I know people, you know, that are doing well for themselves. So obviously you have to keep those people close and learn from them and surround yourself with winners and you will then be a winner yourself. So yeah, be a winner. Not really sure what the point of this YouTube video is. I'm kind of just talking, but I enjoy making these YouTube videos, keeping myself accountable and really just working on consistency, uh, which is, you know, even if I get nothing from these YouTube videos, I have been fairly consistent, which I'm happy with. I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel and I did. And I have one with 600 subscribers, which that is cool. And yeah, if I could continue to grow it, I would be happy. I am going to continue to grow it simply by posting every day and being consistent. It is going to grow. Uh, and you know, that's rewarding enough for me. It's also a lesson that you put the work in, you get results and that's it. And the better you are at it, the quicker results you get and the better results you get. So learn your craft, whatever it is you are truly passionate about, educate yourself as much as you can and you will succeed, you will do amazing things. So that's it for today, YouTube. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. I appreciate all of you. Have a great day. Peace.